I'm Tang Cheng. Uh, I'm one of the heads of the international arbitration group at my law firm. Well, international arbitration uh, is used to resolve cross-border disputes, uh, often between two commercial parties. And instead of going to the courts of either party, uh, the parties by consent agree to convene a tribunal uh, to hear the dispute like judges uh, and to decide um, uh, who should win, who should lose, and how the dispute's resolved. I, I got started in the practice of international law after graduating from law school uh, by joining a Wall Street firm. I applied to a number of firms and was accepted uh, into one of them uh, and was also fortunate to be assigned to Dabal versus India, which was a multi-billion dollar investor state arbitration uh, and very quickly learned the ropes about the practice of international arbitration. My career uh, in international law uh, has been quite diverse. Uh, after starting as a practitioner for a few years, I became a law professor teaching and researching international law and obtained my tenure. Uh, and then thereafter, I decided uh, to go back into practice uh, and uh, built out an arbitration practice at, at my firm. In terms of what advice I would give to younger persons interested in a career in international law, uh, I suppose I would say a few things. First and foremost, international law is an incredibly varied and diverse field, uh, and everyone should feel welcome. Uh, I would also say keep an open mind. There is a lot to do in the world. There are many problems that need solving, uh, and whatever your talents, you will find a space uh, in the international legal system that values those talents. In terms of the changes that are coming in the field of international law in the next 10 or 20 years, there are several. First, it is unavoidable that the world will become more interconnected. That is simply a function of technology that enables people to travel more easily, interact more easily, and interact with an increasing velocity. That will create opportunities for coordination and cooperation, but also will inevitably create conflict. Uh, it is also inevitable that the velocity of change will increase and the number of people who can affect change will increase. Social media uh, is one example of this. Uh, younger persons stand to gain from this because they are more facile uh, with technology and with multitasking and with working quickly. In terms of what ASIL has meant to me and my career, uh, I joined ASIL probably two decades or so ago as a young law student. And when I first went to the annual meeting, was awed by its collection of great and good. And I learned so much just by interacting with them. As I progressed in my career, I found people at ASIL very willing to lend me a hand, lend me an ear, and I stood on their shoulders uh, as I progressed in my career. Today, uh, I see among the leadership of ASIL, uh, a group of friends uh, who are always there for each other, but also always interested in helping the next generation come along to support them and to groom them into leadership positions in international law generally and ASIL more specifically.